Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. Listen, it's, uh, we have a lot of cars in stock because it's the, a crazy season for us. So I apologize for this not being and having more room, but I wanted to get it out as quickly as possible. This is spectacular. Let me tell you what, man, if you wanted to go to a car show, pull up and be it, you're gonna do it in this one right here. The list is so long with the options and things that it has on it that I may have to read off it and I apologize for that right now. But I wanted to talk first about color choice. Wimbledon white is one fantastic color. It's the, it's the white stripes here. It kind of is a signature Shelby, kind of signature race thing. You throw in Guardsman blue, just the name alone, Guardsman blue, and it makes for uh, uh, really cool when you're saying, oh, so, oh, so you got a Mustang? Yeah, I got a, you know, supercharged Shelby GT350, Guardsman blue, white stripes. Mm -hmm. Just a just a car. And then people are like, you gotta be kidding me, really? And it goes on and on. Anyway, I want you to see uh, what your car is gonna look like under the spotlights and how clear uh, you can read things. And the reason I do this is because I know you're out on the net looking. Read that, don't read that, read that right there. And look how clear you can see every word on there. That's what you want to be able to see when you're out there looking at people's uh, cars. Make sure this guy sends you a video of his car. Make sure you can see every wrinkle on his face like you can see my wrinkles on my face, all right? They need to be showing you those kinds of things. They need to be showing you things like this here. Harsh, if I could, I want to show you this. Look at this, look at this. Look at the finish in this paint. Look how you can see everything in there. You can see what time it is. You can see everything. And the reason you want that is because as the light is reflecting off this car, it's going to make for a spectacular glow. I added these right here. These are 17 inch. Halibrand style, but in chrome, just for a little pop on the car. I think they look great. We can certainly swap them out for anything you like, but uh, they look really good on the car. As we walk around, we got big brakes in the front here. Sorry, Arsh, to make you do that twice, but you got big brakes up here with uh, slotted rotors to let the gases out for the high uh, stopping ability that you're going to need with this much power. Okay, come on back here. You got rear disc brakes as well, so we got four wheel disc brakes. And we got high speed tires rated, I believe, up to 180 miles an hour. I think you should probably experience that immediately as soon as you get the car. Don't even learn about it, just get in it. Go 180 and then call me and say, listen, man, it only went 179. I want my money back. Okay, I'm just kidding about all this stuff. Don't drive anything like that. All right, so let's take a peek under the hood because uh, this car looks fast sitting here. But once I open the hood, you're going to say, wow, that's got a lot going on. Okay, let's take a peek under here. I love hood pins. We were just talking about hood pins, how some people use these for, never mind. All right, so check out the size of this radiator in this hole right here. It's got a giant aluminum radiator in here, and you want that. You know why you want that? Because when you're idling in traffic and people are oogling and all, all over your car, you want the car to run cool and uh, not overheat. And the fact of the matter is, this is a setup for a lot of air intake and keep everything cool what you got going on in there. All right? All right, so check out in here. Electric fan. Nice size radiator in here, but look at the detail. Everything has a place. Everything is covered as far as wiring goes. Everything is, uh, is tightly uh, pieced together so there's not stray pieces laying all over the place. For instance, all the wiring is inside of looms. You know, this is the correct uh, uh, radiator hose. We say, well, Tom, what's the big deal about having the correct radiator hose? Well, how many times have you seen that ribbed universal hose that you can bend into any shape? Well, that same hose under pressure can blow right apart. The molded hose like this, okay, keeps everything cooling and that's what you want on a, on a high pressure system like this where you can get a lot of power uh, out of these motors and it just runs so nice and cool. You probably can't see it, but this has aluminum heads on it as well, all right? And uh, this is the Paxton supercharger here with the carburetor hat for inside there and this is the pop-off valve here as well so in case uh, you get too much boost, uh, the safety system's built in place. So that's never happened, but uh, it's there if you need it. Um, and then we kind of made things look authentic with the original washer style bag right here, uh, auto light battery cover right there, and just as a one great engine compartment. You can go to a car show, open this up, you know, the GT350R had, uh, some of them had the supercharger on them, and it made for uh, one bad, bad car. And I gotta tell you, this is as bad as they come. All right, so how do we get the power? We start out with the 289 style block, bore and stroke at 306 cubic inches, okay? And then we uh, add aluminum heads. 
We add a little bit of compression, not too much. Put the supercharger on it as well, all right? And we get 476 horsepower. I have to tell you, 476 horsepower in this small car right here is a lot, a lot of power. And uh, if you're looking for seven, 800 horsepower, that's, a, that's for a 4,000 pound car. This is closer to a 3,000 pound car, so it's a huge difference. This car is super, super fast, hence why you need the four wheel disc brakes. All right, so I wanted to talk about the paint a little bit more. Here it is in the shade, here it is in the sun. But what I wanted to show you is that you can't even feel these stripes on the car. And the reason why is because it's painted the proper way. And that's the base coat is painted and it's wet sanded nice and smooth. Then they laid over the white stripes, wet sanded it nice and smooth. Then they clear coated the whole car. And the reason you want that done is because this way when you wash and wax the car, you don't tear away at the stripes and in a year or two have to redo them. All right, this is definitely the way to go. So we got the Shelby taillights back here. We got the GT350 gas cap. The exhaust system is a little bit larger than the original exhaust that would have come on the car, but this also has significantly more power than the original car would have had. So the freer flowing the exhaust, uh, the better it works. Here we have the rear seat delete, but we also have a roll bar inside the car. The great thing about this roll bar is it's not intrusive. It's not in anybody's way, but it offers a safety thing. You could take this car here, vintage racing, and that's what you'd want to do. Can you imagine this car on the track? You could get a GoPro cam there, film yourself driving around the track. It would be the baddest day ever, all right? It's got the spare tire in back where the rear seat delete uh, would come into play. Cool looking piece back there. And even if you don't even take it on the track, you just drive it to the track, no one's going to race you because it looks so bad. All right, I took the mat out of here. Okay, we have a carpeted mat in here. I just wanted to show you uh, some restoration so you could see. So the stripes are painted all the way through. All right, new gas tank, new floors, all painted properly in here, new wiring, all right? All that stuff's in there. And also I have uh, the extra harnesses for the seats there if you want to do the shoulder harness as well. Otherwise, I take them out of the car, I just leave them in the box because most people just like a lap seat belt, all right? This is a street car that drives around all day long because it has a nice big radiator, it has a nice uh, electric fan, and it's designed to run cool, and it's designed for you to take it for a drive. Uh, so it's equally at home on the track and the street. Let's get in and check it out. Nice. All right, so what do we got going on here? Full array of Sun Pro gauges, all right? This has showing 4,491 miles since it was restored. So uh, very low mileage and uh, still holding up really, really nicely, all right? This has a full gauge selection here as well as the Shelby up gauge gauges that they would have put in their cars too with the Carroll Shelby tack and the oil pressure gauge. I added this console in here. You can take it out if you don't want it. I thought it looked great because it has a place for a couple uh, cup holders. It's got the five speed in it. So you get that really nice fifth gear uh, that you can cruise on the highway with and you want that because uh, you know you want to go for a nice long drive in this car. This car drives like a regular car uh, until you want it to not be a regular car. And having said that, when it's not a regular car, it's a handful, and you just need to make sure that, uh, A, you're looking forward when you decide to get on it all the way, and uh, know that you're going to be there wherever you want to be, you're going to be there very quickly, all right? This has upgraded seats in it. These are the uh, SCAT Pro Car seats, all right, with nice side bolsters, things like that. The roll bar that we talked about in there, everything is new from the dash to the carpet to the seat covers to the door panels, okay? The door panels are an upgraded version of carbon fiber door panels. They look pretty cool. Check that out, all right? And then inside here, all right, is an upgraded digital sound system that's hidden, all right? There's speakers all the way in the back and what have you. This car, you can hear the stereo great. We can make it as loud as you want or as quiet as you want. Uh, we can even add cutouts to it. And if you've never had cutouts on a car, they're really cool. They're electric, so uh, it's got the regular exhaust system. So you flip the switch, and when you flip the switch, it opens it to wide open exhaust, and it sounds fabulous. And can you imagine being at the track again uh, with the wide open exhaust? All right, three-spoke Moto Lita wheel, probably the greatest looking uh, classic car steering wheel ever made, and I think this uh, fits perfect. And as you're working the shifter, man, it's just, it's awesome. As you're rolling down the track, wah, wah. All right, sorry, I'm back. Anyway, uh, that's it for the inside. It's, uh, it's a great place. You can take uh, you know, one of the kids with you, take the wife with you, take the boyfriend, take your buddy, go for a cruise. This is a great, great car, and it's just an easy, easy car to drive is what I love so much about it. All right, let's close up this spectacular car. Here's what I'm talking about. 302 board to 306 cubic inches, okay? 
306 cubic inches, so it keeps you in that limit that uh, you can do some Trans Am racing if you want to. With the Paxton Supercharger, aluminum heads, beautifully built engine, including a dyno sheet to authenticate what we're talking about, 476 horsepower. TKO five-speed transmission, so a heavy-duty five-speed. This has a nine-inch Ford rear in the car. Okay, nine-inch, not the smaller that would have come originally, but the heavy-duty nine-inch in here. So built just like the GT350R would have had, except for the extra gear and the five-speed, and the five-speed makes it nice because you can cruise on the highway, all right? Um, we talked about how great looking the paint was. This has subframe connectors, it has Gravitrack suspension underneath of it. Lots of things that you can't see. Uh, it's got the Shelby lightweight pieces on side here, so the car is even lighter than the original factory models. Four-wheel power disc brakes. Uh, it's got the Magnaflow exhaust system with the X-pipe on it, so it sounds wow, wow, okay? Uh, we looked at the full factory gauges inside, and just, uh, I mean, it keeps going on and on and on. The seats, the stereo, whatever. Dude, this car would cost you seventy dollars to $80,000 to reproduce. It is a spectacular piece and a really cool car. I know you would love it. Call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it.